it's Kirby. Happy holidays. Now, when I think of this time of year, I think of really pretty, shiny, sparkly things as in gifts. But why not make yourself look like the sparkly gift, right? So today I want to talk to you about a few of my favorite glitter products, the fine glitters, the best glitters that are easiest to remove, the ones that you should use on your body as opposed to your face. And they're all my personal recommendations. So let's get started. I know what you're thinking. Girl, if you tell me to buy a $30 glitter, I am not watching this video. <laughs> and you know what? I don't blame you. That's why we're gonna start with the NYX Glitter Brilliance. It is so affordable. It's less than $10. It's seven bucks. And it comes in so many different shades. I think there's around 12 to 14. You can really go haywire creating looks with these. You can do it on your lips, on your eyes. You could even kind of make a wash all over your body if you wanted to. But really, these are best for your face. They're finely milled. And the one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're using glitter on your face or your body is that you want to use cosmetic glitter. Do not, under any circumstance, go to the craft store and buy the giant bottle of that craft glitter because those pieces of glitter are big enough that they, if they get in your eye, your eye is going to be cut and you have a trip to the hospital on your hands. And nobody wants that. That is not a happy holiday, all right? One thing I think that is really important when it comes to glitter is having a proper base. And NYX actually makes a glitter primer. It's essentially an eyeshadow primer, but trust me, this stuff really does feel like glue. <laughs> like you put it on and the glitter is not going anywhere. And I think it really is a staple when it comes to glitter application. This next glitter, it's kind of a mix between a shimmer and a glitter. It's new and it's from Makeup Forever. It is their Starlit Diamond Powder. This has become one of my fast favorites. Um, this one's actually called Pink White. It has this pink uh, cast to it when you apply it. So when you move in the light, it has that really beautiful blush shade that I totally dig. It's great for a highlight. So with glitter, traditionally, you don't wanna like swipe it across your cheek. It's almost impossible to do that with the true glitter. Um, with this, because it is a powder, you can put it on your cheekbones, you can do your cupid's bow in a corner of your eye create a really cool um, shimmery glitter eyeliner with it, and you can take it down your neck, decollete, and your entire body. So for me, this is gonna be my go-to for New Year's Eve. It's $26, so yeah, it's an investment, especially for glitter, but there's a lot in here, and you don't need a lot to make a huge impact. That's why I love it. Okay, this next glitter is a really cool product. It's actually limited edition, so get it while you can. It's the Marc Jacobs Sequins Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. There we go, I wanted to make sure I got the name right. Now, this is a really beautiful eyeshadow and I think this is probably best for people that are a little scared of glitter. It's packed in there and so you use it similarly to how you would apply an eyeshadow, okay? I actually have it on my eyes right now, this beautiful color. Glamethyst, honey. So this little guy is a glitter and a sparkle. It's meant to look like sequins, so when it catches the light, it kind of has a little bit of iridescence um, and luminosity to it. You can use it two ways. So you can either pack it on, you just get a, either your finger or um, a brush that's densely packed, not too fluffy, or you can blend it out more so it's softer and it has more of a soft wash of color. It comes in a bunch of jewel tones, which I think is really festive this time of year for the holidays. Lady Gaga has worn these on her eyeballs. And listen, if Gaga is going to do it, I am more than willing to try anything Gaga has. I think that's a selling point in itself. Okay, so the most budget-friendly glitter I can recommend to anyone is this one from BH Cosmetics. It's their glitter collection. It is five dollars i looked on the website and apparently they marked it down from like seven so now it's 4.90 i mean i don't think you can find anything cheaper than this this is sexy glitter when i take a look at this i'm like i want this on my face immediately this is really easy to remove it's a blessing and a curse so if you put it on and you want to wipe it off um, you want to try something different that's great because it wipes off but you will need a base, whether that's an eyeshadow primer or a glitter primer. You need to have something underneath it so that it will stay and last throughout the day. And it's cruelty free, so if you're a cruelty free person, this is your little guy right here, okay? I mean, everyone should be cruelty free, let's be real. Y'all know I wasn't gonna get through this review without some Fenty Beauty, baby. This is the chef's kiss of glitter products this year. I've obviously used it a lot. You can tell this is my personal stash. Um, it's called How Many Carrots. I am obsessed with this, so take a look. I'm gonna put this little guy 
you're like, okay, it looks like a nice pressed powder, but then you get the shimmer and it's just so beautiful. So it's not truly a glitter glitter, but when you put it on your body, mm, honey, it's $38, but you know you're gonna buy it. All right, so those are my glitter recommendations for holiday time. Tell me what you think. Have you tried any of these? If you haven't tried NYX and you're just creeping into the glitter sphere, I think this is the one you should start with because it really is easy to use and it's super affordable. You could buy all the shades if you wanted to. Um, I absolutely love it. Just don't forget your glitter primer. Guys, what looks are you looking forward to for the holidays? Let me know in the comments below. And you can hit me up at Kirby Johnson on Instagram and Twitter, on Facebook at Kirby Johnson TV. And guys, it's 25 days of Christmas here at Freeform, so be sure to check out all the movies that we're playing the first through the 25th. Uh, there's a lot to offer. I'm personally excited about The Grinch and The Santa Claus. I'm gonna have my hot cocoa and my blankie and be watching them on TV, all right? So I'll see you next time and happy holidays. Bye.